Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b square divided by 81 is equals to 81 divided by b square and we solve this problem for all the values of b. So here the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to cross multiply the terms and here we multiply 81 with this 81 and we multiply b square with this b square and after cross multiplication of the terms we have b square multiplied by b square is equals to 81 is multiplied by 81 and now here further you see that uh, the basis on both of these two terms are same so we add its exponents and it will be written as b to the power of 2 plus 2 in the same pattern we write 81 multiplied by 81 as 81 whole square and now further in the next step uh, you see here in the left hand side we get this is 2 plus 2 becomes 4 and in the right hand side we write this 81 as 9 square and its whole power is 2 okay so you see here uh, 9 square here we have exponent to the exponent so we can apply here this nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m is multiplied by n according to this rule of exponents uh, we multiply these two exponents here and it will be written as b to the power of 4 is equals to 9 to the power of 2 times 2 becomes here 4 and now further in the next step uh, we need to move this 9 to the power of 4 from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as b to the power of 4 minus 9 to the power of 4 is equals to 0 and further in the next step uh, we rewrite this equation as uh, so here we write this b to the power of 4 as b square and its whole square minus we write this 9 to the power of 4 as 9 square and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y according to this rule uh, or this formula you see here the base of this term is our x it means that b square equals to x and the base of this term is equals to y so this means that 9 square is equals to y and now here uh, we are ready to apply this formula to the above equation and after applying this formula our above equation is written as here our first factor is x minus y the value of x is b square minus the value of y is 9 square into again we have x plus y the value of x is b square plus the value of y is 9 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b square minus 9 square equals to 0 and the second case is we write b square plus 9 square equals to 0. So uh, here we again apply uh, the above formula so according to the above formula it will be written as uh, b minus 9 times of b plus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now again we divide this into the two cases the first case is we write b minus 9 equals to 0 and the second case is we write b plus 9 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 9 and from here we easily get the value of b is equals to 9. So from this case we get these are the two values of b that is plus minus 9. And now here uh, we need to solve our second case and from here we move this plus 9 square to the right hand side and it will become b square is equals to minus 9 square and here uh, in order to find the values of b we need to take square root on both of the sides so that when we apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form this 2 and this square root are cancelled out by each other and we get b is equals to here we first uh, apply square root separately on both of these two values so first we apply 9 square into minus 1 and you know about that when we apply square root on both of the side we will be right here plus minus sign and these two and square root are gone and we get 9 and you know about that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota 
so these are the two complex roots of the given equation and these are the two real roots of the given equation because our given equation is fourth order equation uh, so we get all the four roots of the given equation here okay and now we move towards our uh, verification of these roots and now for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is b square divided by 81 equals to 81 divided by b square so here we verify above four roots so in this side we will be verify b is equals to plus minus 9 and in this side we will be verify b is equals to plus minus 9 iota okay so uh, here we move towards the verification process uh, so here we have uh, first we verify uh, b equals to plus minus 9 so we put this value on both of the sides and we check its behavior uh, so we have uh, when you put it here it will become plus minus 9 whole square is divided by 81 equals to 81 is divided by plus minus 9 whole square and you know about that when we apply a square on negative term it will always becomes here uh, positive okay so the square of plus minus 9 becomes uh, positive and 9 square becomes here 81 divided by 81 is equals to in the same pattern we have this 81 is divided by the plus minus 9 square is also becomes here 81 so now here uh, you see that this 81 is cancelled out by this 81 and we get here 1 is equals to 1 because these two are also cancelled out by each other. This shows that both of the sides are equal which means that b equals to plus minus 9 is satisfied our given question statement. And now here we move towards our uh, second roots. So uh, we substitute both of these two values here and it will be written as plus minus 9 iota whole square divided by 81 is equals to 81 divided by plus minus 9 iota whole square and now here further in the next step you know about that the square of plus and minus term becomes positive and the square of 9 becomes 81 the square of iota becomes iota square and it is divided by 81 is equals to this is 81 divided by again you see here the square of plus and minus becomes plus and the square of 9 becomes 81 the square of iota becomes iota square now you see here this 81 is gone and these are also cancelled out by each other okay so we obtain here iota square is equals to 1 over iota square and here you see that iota square becomes minus 1 and this iota square 1 over iota square is also equals to minus 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal which means that all the four roots of the given equation are satisfied our given question statement so that um, finally we have the solution set of the given question is plus minus 9 and plus minus 9 iota so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos